previously on Oathsworn. You know for a fact that this ancient fortress has one of the Never Armies sitting, like, right there. But I believe Whisper's forces, I believe they know of uh, a secret. This is actually Aoife's first command. She's usually the, the show-me-where-to-shoot type. <laughs> think the eyes of smoke garments look like they have to smoke what hell yeah gasp like what are their like <laughs> raiments their their robes and such look uh, like no. i was imagining um like smoky gray uh robes mm-hmm. with like black like vestments over them cool but you know other people should Catch in. That was just what was my, my instant mm-hmm. thought was something sort of ostentatious of like big black and white like chunky stripes, <laughs> like 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 old timey uh, like a Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, okay. Beetlejuice, <laughs> but it's a robe. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice robe. but it's a robe is powerful. I was imagining the robes from like Eyes Wide Shut, where it just like covers everything. No, guys, I I think Devin's got it. <laughs> Uh, yeah check this check this out <laughs> ah i think this is it oh god oh no uh, that's a that's a kimono <laughs> what am i <laughs> that, what what is going on in the head <laughs> situation <laughs> what's why the reverse view yeah. a, a wig is it a terrible that's wig the, why does it look like spaghetti that's the oh um, no wait beetlejuice kimono so, so this we're looking. Exists. Stop saying Beetlejuice. <laughs> so we're looking at a photo. <laughs> We've already said it three times. We're looking at delayed. a photo of what looks like a bathrobe <laughs> that is black and white striped with like mm-hmm. like a purple magenta ish like velvet like collar and tie, but then the 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 person wearing it has like a wig, like a Venetian carnival mask and a wig Pasta? that looks like. It's made of very wide <laughs> what noodles. The fuck yeah. Is this? No, not this. <laughs> I veto this. No, Devin, this I, I think you're right. Yeah. Devin, I think that's it. <laughs> the Beetlejuice robe. The thing Brendan posted is it. cool. Yeah. I'd rather yeah, the styling. Beetlejuice robe than the uh, joyful <laughs> priest robe costume. <laughs> um, what about. Hang on, hang on. I might have actually just gotten it. So. Uh, welcome to the anime minute. Um, what about this outfit from Kingdom Hearts? Oh, the Xanorts. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the, the tribal tattoo kind of <laughs> like baby. vibe, though. <laughs> like, I like the giant zipper. Uh, like, the Eyes of Smoke know how to make zippers, and they won't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 they make the excuse that it's dreadfully important to the future of the world that yeah. only they know how to make zippers. And they're all wearing Reeboks. <laughs> they're yeah. saving all of us from getting our like hair right. stuck in zippers so what did that's we why see they won't tell like us. what <laughs> how did we get on this tangent so, <laughs> someone <laughs> wearing these robes whatever they are <laughs> i was gonna say the sh- the sleeves have been like torn off but now i think that probably <laughs> there were separate 
discreet zippers <laughs> to <end> the sleeves. <laughs> And those have been taken off. And underneath is this enormously tall, enormously strong lady, long, thick black hair. My face cast for this character is this Olympic uh, weightlifter, who I think her name is pronounced Gael Nayo Tichunki. Um, mm-hmm. uh, she's based out of Paris. I think she's originally from Cameroon. I'll share a picture of her. But who is uh, engaged in conversation with this, with the idol that you have encountered before, arms crossed, and uh, very abruptly, I think, ends the conversation. And the two of them go two separate ways. The idol begins to move north towards the main hall. And this person from the Eyes of Smoke, I think, goes towards uh, some other... Never, maybe a couple of groups of feral being wrangled by a pair of idols towards a set of stairways down into a uh, down below into some sort of um, subterranean area. Hmm. Nikolaj has some explaining to do. That's kind of wild that they can just like walk amongst them without any sort of. Uh-huh. That's that's not the you know what that's an idea worth exploring. Huh. Flashback for some disguises. <laughs> Oh, uh, one last question before we start like planning our, our approach here. Is there any like current visual evidence that those flying creatures are anywhere in the vicinity? No, I think you've been keeping an eye out for them, but have not spotted one. Okay. I brought my big ass sniper rifle for them. <laughs> um, okay. I, I think, you you know, the, the thing that I said before is true. Every, everything that Whisper has is here. And so you have every reason to suspect that they are somehow available, but you don't spot yeah. one. So I, I think the like drawing aggro approach might be a good one. Cause like they have a lot of bodies. And if we can get rid of some of those bodies, it might make this easier. But other people have like I, I have I have a really good idea for a uh a, a, a way in which we can aggro them, but um does anybody think we should take mm-hmm. a different approach? Uh, do, this is sort of out of character. I, I, this is a scout mission, not an assault mission. It does feel like the aggro approach is like well, Plan B. Guns are we loud. Well, I, I guns think, are really loud. Could, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Devin was saying like use aggro and then like smoke yeah. bomb out of there. Th- there's there's no guns involved in my plan. Um, oh, what is? Eva goes to Rachel. Um, Captain, you're a good cook, right? Hmm. Well, um, I, I, yes. What's the smelliest thing you know how to make? <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> Ooh, those rolls. I love those. Um, Approve. Garlic and chilies probably would do a lot. Did you bring any of that in your kit? Rachel have like curry spices. <laughs> I do have a cooking kit and fresh food, so absolutely. We don't necessarily need to like make the food. I think if we just like start a fire and like put the spices into the fire and have smelly smoke, then we might be able to make a significant enough distraction for these things. I can I can throw some chilies into a fire. Okay, I like this a lot. F- imagine this first as some sort of like set up or ticking some sort of clock to get through, but it does seem like instead this is a benefit to what seems to be, I'm guessing, a maneuver role that I'm probably leading. So going to be a group yeah. to get us in. Yeah, here. I will go as far as to say here is another four-step clock. Get to question marks. <laughs> which I don't know which way you're going. Huh. Ah, even four steps is kind of brutal considering how much we need to spend to do each roll. Hmm. I'm sorry, it doesn't go any smaller. With the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, do we know where we're trying to go based on the scouting? Like maybe yeah, that could help to... have filled the clock a bit. So maybe there's this is first a scout roll. Yeah, I don't think anyone's actually done any scouting just yet. That was all based on the research. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, so someone could do a scout role as a we setup. Should do some scouting. 
or as yeah. advancing this clock. I have one in scout. I have two in scout, actually. Oh, hell yeah. So. Oh, yeah, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, yeah. Ha! I'm going to be doing this all day. I'm sorry in <laughs> advance. That's fine. So I'm just rolling scout here. Unless you want benefits. Yeah. It's just risky standard because you're not opposed by by the forces of evil just yet. <laughs> <laughs> you want any benefits? Scott? Okay. Uh, I would I would like a helping die, maybe. I'll, I can give you a helping die. I'll pay you back okay. for being my research assistant. Oh, is this what it's like? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you get to ride on Matthew's shoulders. <laughs> uh, I think Nabane's bones would crack. <laughs> 3d6. Risky standard. standard scout. All right. Okay. Four. A four. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I think what this gets you is you get a sense of where the never are investigating and where they are ignoring places that they have already like decided to move on from and aren't paying any more attention to and can kind of figure out a path from one place to another. I'll tick this clock up twice, but I do need to know where it is you're actually going. Well, what's uh, I, I had asked if they were digging any holes at the moment. Oh, right. OK, so some of them are. Yes. I think uh, the 40 that are here are in the midst of digging holes. Okay. Which, to be clear, is not just digging up a pit. They're digging their way into rooms, down stairways, and that kind of thing. Mm, Okay. Uh, Do people have good ideas for questions? Wait, are you getting questions? Yeah, I think you get... Yeah, ask me two questions. Um, There's that old, like... (laughs) Dungeon world, what's the best way through or past or whatever? Mm-hmm. That feels appropriate here. Yeah, maybe which which routes? Yeah, it would take us like past the least number of eyes. We're trying to get to something, right? I, again, uh, th- there mm-hmm. are two like destinations that it seems like you could go to, and yeah, th- the answer might be different depending on which way it is that you're interested in going. True. Maybe we uh, should try to see which way to go. Yeah. So if we went down the main hall, what would we have in store other than the one idol there? You can see that the feral are f- ferrying and have ferried enormous amounts of masonry from out of that space. I think you can see from the silhouette of this fortress that one of its larger towers collapsed and probably collapsed somewhere past where this main hall is. Nabane, I think you know that one of the places of prominence in this area is a large inner courtyard in the very center of the fortress. Gotcha. So probably something of something of religious significance. Mm. I, this might be too direct to ask in this kind of scout role, but why is there an Aya Smoke person here? Mm. What what are mm. what are they getting out of this? Yeah, um, I think that's a valid question to ask. I'm trying to think of how to give you a good answer. I think, like, yeah, how would I see this answer? When I'm looking through my uh, binoculars or whatever. Can Rahel read lips? Um, She has. She's not a whistler, right? She's got canter, though. Uh So lots of singing in her life. So maybe picking up from that. Maybe maybe that's less uh, lip reading and more just like body language. Yeah, I think that's that's a good call. So I think you're looking around, you're looking both at the the spaces where the feral are and where the feral aren't. You're looking ahead to this main hall, up where the towers are or the, or the one used to be. And then you look over towards the enormous set of stone steps that leads down 
and noticed that the eyes of smoke person has come back up. And when she went downstairs, I think, you know, her arms had been crossed. She was like, looked very stern, very no nonsense, was here to do a job of some kind. And as she comes up the stairs, she's like, not running, but like coming up at pace. She looks a little softer, looks a little more concerned and stops at the top and looks around, presumably for someone. And when she doesn't find her, her resolve kind of breaks and her shoulders dip a little bit. And she heaves a sigh and goes back down the steps. Okay. How do I, how do I say this in a way that isn't gross? Fucking stupid. Her princess is in another castle. Yeah. That, that's better than what I was going to say. Oh, uh, like the, the, the never whispers forces are like holding someone to compel her to help. Or do something. She's got got it. Still can't do this. The call is coming from inside the the army. She's in love with somebody. Oh, wonderful! I wish them the best. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lance. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, and this is her girlfriend. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> we we know how this works, right? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Well, I think Lance has reported that like the idols have. Some sort of like romantic desire, magic compulsion yeah. about them. So like I don't. So somebody's got this eyes of smoke person on the their finger, huh? Because yeah, I was thinking like, what if we go and try to like basically threaten them for information? But like, if they're under this spell, they're probably not going to give a shit. Well, I was thinking another direction, which is if you recall that that one time that we saved Nikolaj. Um, which was in and of itself a source of mm-hmm. intel. Like this mission is about getting intel, and Eyes of Smoke person will have intel. We could just kidnap another Eyes of Smoke yeah. person. Although yep. we found Nikolaj mm-hmm. between floorboards. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. This person is uh, a lot better treated. Yeah, so this one would be an actual kidnapping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. not a rescue turned. You're stuck with us now. Maybe we, should, yeah, maybe we should head to that part of the... the... All right. If nothing else, I bet she can tell us what they're mm-hmm. looking for. Yeah. And if we have to, yeah. you know, use... We could do a Hitman clothing swap after we capture her, but... Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what the get to thing is now. Get to the Eyes of Smoke lady so that we can kidnap her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Although that... What do you? I think mean, that, that that that's that was yeah, what I was, was thinking. Was call. Um, I I don't know if I Great. I intended yeah. to kidnap her in the sense that we would take her from where she is and bring her somewhere else, but I definitely wanted to uh, uh, threaten her to get details. <laughs> Excellent. Um, On board, especially after I just gave somebody from the eyes of smoke the benefit of the doubt. I mean, not just, that was two ten times ago, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> time is, time is right. I guess we need to start hacking away at this clock. I think so. Is this mm-hmm. group maneuver? So yeah, it's the group maneuver to get to, to like isolate her somewhere yes. so that we can like get the drop on her. I think you need to maneuver in order to fill this clock in order to get where she mm-hmm. is and then maybe see what it is that you get into where she yeah. is at. Love it. Okay. So, uh, did the scout. Uh, help us anymore with our uh, setup for the role? Because I remember we were, we were trying to figure out how to get up to that. Tick the clock okay. by two. Yeah, I think it ticked the clock, but I don't think it gives you mm-hmm. additional Okay, damage. so we, we at least need to make one mm-hmm. good roll then here. Cool, cool. Yes, I was worried about making correct. two mm-hmm. rolls, so yeah, that, that, that helps a lot. Okay, so yeah, yeah. we have the benefit of the chilies. We have, that brings us to yeah. three of five on the scale comparison right mm-hmm. how else can we is this like a you, we can people can push themselves and that well, kind if of we're stuff sneaking to... around being a smaller scale is actually better oh yeah uh that makes sense. yeah that's true that's true yeah maybe this is just risky standard okay cool, cool. nice baller you've convinced me <laughs> yeah. Do we get that benefit as a dice? 
Um, it's a group, or it's a group maneuvering. No, 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 I know, but there's the chili benefit, the benefit of the chili. <laughs> yeah. Or is the he, benefit of the chili the thing that's allowing I mean, we probably could have just made this roll without the chili situation. I don't... Hmm. Yeah. Because, like, what I could do is, like, do a helping die, but I'm also in the maneuver, so, like... I think the chili thing we just have to scrap. No, it was too good. We no, see, we'll just save it for when we need it. Mm-hmm. It's in our back pocket now. It's a flash forward. <laughs> How about this? We have the chili thing set up such that when we need it as like a flashback, it's a one stress, no roll flashback to like have it as a distraction outside. Yes. Like it just happened to burn at that moment okay. that we need it. Yeah, like I said, it's a flash forward. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Another great uh, Consonant Legion remote detonation, but this one starts a campfire. Yeah, we love that. <laughs> okay, in that case, this is a maneuver, group maneuver, risky standard. Okay. Who's leading? I could lead. Uh, it depends on how much of my stress track we want to save for violence. I don't think we're going to do a lot of violence today. It's not the plan, but it's always an option. Yeah, it's just like Brendan really yeah. underscored that those worm things were a threat. Mm-hmm. I can lead it because Kayo's at none, and I've got, I think, as much stress allowance as Aoife does. Oh! Okay. You know what? You rolled, a, you rolled a four on that scout. Oh, sure, yeah. Sure. I owe you a risky consequence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the? Uh, I'm going to tick alarm twice. Where is alarm at now? Uh, that'll it's put it at three or four. Three out of four. Um, I think okay. I think that's the as the eyes of smoke lady turns back, she see looks back to where Rahel is. You can prowess resist this. Uh, I think I should. I'm yeah. gonna two ticks is a lot. Okay, three d six. Could someone else protect prowess. for that? I yes. guess we're not really around, huh? Oh dear. Well, also, I have three d six in it, so okay. Here's hoping. Yeah, Rahel's kind of great. Yeah, I'll just wow. heal a stress. Yes. Whoa. Finger Doug. guns. That's a critical just, resist. Rahel, just like pixelated sunglasses drop down and Rahel just like disappears, <laughs> slides back out of out of sight. Hell yeah. But also the sunglasses it's, have like leaves on them, so they're also camouflage. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, maybe Rahel recognizes this person. This person recognizes Rahel and they just... Oh, cool nod at each other. I love that. That's great. Oh. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's true now. Oh. Okay. And you sneak downstairs. Um, Um, Well, that was the resist. Now we got to do the maneuver roll. Oh, that's right. Yeah. (laughs) Roll that again. Just just roll like that again, and it'll be great. And Kayo is leading? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can. Oh my Sneaky god. Kayo. One fail, oh, two boy. fails. Well, at least we got one success. Success. And a full There's a success. Six. So just two stress for Kayo. That is fine. Doesn't Kayo have two maneuver? No, one. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. I think the six here is I think with my eye, I do sense like almost like threads of energy like between these like things that are crawling. Like leading back to the witches, so I'm like able to like oh, almost sure. see like a yeah. an ethereal tripwire. Yeah, I like that. As you head downstairs, you look up, and you can see that great headless shadow stepping towards the inner courtyard of the fortress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder how much I've like to talk to people about these things. I know I gave Nabane a, a drawing of one that I did, but I don't. I don't know if she gave uh, Nabane any context for it. I. She just knew that he was working on the like never decks, and he's like, and she was just like, "Hey, here, I drew this," <laughs> and I don't know how he reacted to that. <laughs> he put it on his fridge. <laughs> I feel like if anybody to talk to would be the commander. Who? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's like, because he had it before. Because <laughs> he had it before. So was he seeing these things Holy before? Shit. Probably. Also, sorry, I oh, said I said who because I actually had like a glitch where I didn't hear what the word said was, but <laughs> oh, oh yeah, okay. it's okay. Way it fantastic funnier. timing. Aoife, what Eva uh, who has been insubordinate is just like I don't know him. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, but uh, no, yeah, the yeah. commander. 
Yeah, because yeah, he yeah. had it before. So, yeah, that'd be an interesting uh, mm-hmm. downtime scene. It um, might. Yeah, <laughs> yeah as, as much as they All butt right, was, uh, as much as they butt heads, he did give her something that like helps her greatly, but also you know gives her also scary visions. <laughs> uh, Rahel, me. This is Augur Carla. Where do you know her from? Uh, what's Carla's culture? I guess she's just Eyes of Spoke. Well, everyone from Eyes of Smoke is from somewhere. Uh, yeah. um, she is Tylos. Tylos. Okay. I don't know. I think maybe there was a time in Rahel's life where she was going to become a cantor, like a legitimate Ooh. one. And there was like singing lessons or something. Yeah, I think she was a student with you. She like sat next to you in class. You remember she always had a powerful voice. And I think as you get down into these catacombs, I don't think she looks back. I don't even know if she knows that y'all are here necessarily. But the never are digging in a number of halls, but she seems to step down towards one of the spaces in these catacombs that has already been excavated and abandoned. The dead ends. What do you do? Is there a flashback I could do for like maybe more than just students? Maybe we were like we met there, but we're like good friends. Sure. Um, Mark a stress and tell me a secret that only the two of you know about. Yeah. um, Secret. The only the two of us know about. I was going to suggest if you wanted a music thing that maybe you both were learning certain parts of a harmony and you realized that the other one's part was more suited to their vocal range. So you like traded parts. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Maybe Rahel like could whistle. Well, I guess I I can't whistle because I don't have that. Right. I was about to say. (laughs) Then I I would have to sing it. That feels like a desperate <laughs> Oh, <rate>. boy. <laughs> I, I look to Kayo. Do you think you could knock her out if we need to? <laughs> yeah, that works great. I, I think what, what that sounds like is you, is a consort role. Okay. Does that sound right? Sounds consorty. So I spent stress for the flashback. And yeah, consort. I've got two D6. What's the... Risky standard. Risky standard. I guess I'll make this. Hmm, what's a devil's bargain? Um, someone who hasn't yet been on screen will also hear you. Mm. No. What would helping how? Just like keeping watch to make sure that there's no feral coming around the corner or something, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Cool. So. Controlled standard or risky date, great 3D6, do you think? I don't know if there's a way to make this controlled fictionally, actually. With somebody watching for you? To say, like, hey, stop yeah. for a second. Somebody's coming close. Yeah, I'd, I'd be content with that. Okay. I'm going to go with controlled standard. 3D6. Nice. I'll take a five. I'll take a five. A five. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another clock on the board. Augur Carla. It is six steps and I'm going to tick it twice as I think she was studying part of the wall, part of, again, some of these like chosen sigils that had been exposed thanks to the feral excavation. It's like a Dark Souls thing where you're like hitting every wall with your sword to see if it's a wizard. (laughs) Kind of like that, but I think she's like studying it intently. And she moves so quickly. It's as though she just snaps 180 degrees. It's as though like all she had to do was shift the weight in her feet to move from intently studying the wall to being in a fighter's position with her hands raised up in front of her face um, on the, t- the toes of her feet, not startled, just ready. Ooh. And she says, Rahel, what are you doing here?
Carlo, what are you doing here? I have work to do. This place is dangerous. You're going to get killed. Do you hear yourself? You're not safe here. We got to get out. Come on. You haven't answered my question. What are you doing here? How did you? How are you here? I thought you were with. Just like fumbles her legionnaire badge <laughs> on her uniform. Are she like looks left and right and like takes a small step backwards. Wait, I. And she, I think, slowly starts to lower her hand and says, Rahel, come here. It's not safe, please. I mean, she's probably going to step forward and keep talking quietly, like something, something about like, I don't know who has you wrapped around their finger, but whoever they are, they, uh, (laughs) they're not good for you. (laughs) Dump your boyfriend. Uh, Dump (laughs) dump his ass. I snuck snuck into this cursed castle just to tell you something real quick. I noticed your DMs weren't open, so I came to this castle. Um... (laughs) God, I think that's another consort right there. That's got to be a consort. As as your friend, I got to tell you that the never, like, I don't know who she is, but this is not a healthy relationship, Carla. And now you have help with that. How do you help? Oh, no, I was asking if the the rookies will have like a like naive hope. Oh, yeah, I've I've got naive hope. (laughs) Yep, 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 yep. You can use that. Um. Very good call. Okay. What's the what's the um, risky standard? Yeah, the thing. The blades of the dark. I think thing. I'm going to use naive hope for three d six for an extra die. Yeah, that sounds right. A six. Rahel is solid. Rahel's not bad today. I did. I did not want to take the lead today <laughs> on screen, but here we are. Yeah. Um, you can see like. A dozen different emotions play out across her face of anger, of outrage, of sorrow. And her, her hands clench into fists and she says, no one has me wrapped around their finger. I'm here. I'm here to do what I have chosen to do. I don't know how you got here if you ran away from your legion or if they are waiting for your return. But you must go. This place is not safe. I have no desire to see you turned into one of them. But I'm not going anywhere. What's everyone else doing? Yeah, maybe someone else can finish this. Leaning around a corner. I think Kyle is just like looking at Aoife, just like, do we go now? Do we go now? Like, he's just waiting for this to break bad. Um, Yeah, I I was just kind of sketched out by doing that because like when uh, Rachel showed the like badge, she like stepped back as if like she didn't want anything to do with that. And so if we all bust up like, yo, we're the Legion. Uh, Tell us what's up. She's not going to be like, oh, cool. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Like, I don't know. Maybe we can offer to help if, if, if Carla is, you know, not owned. As they claim, like, maybe just like, okay, do you need a hand? And then we can all get out of here then? Like, what what, what do you need? Because you don't seem to like being here and yet you insist on staying. Like, what's good? Carla, do you know Nikolaj? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, he's 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 going forward. Okay, great. (laughs) Just just briskly walk past. Yeah, (laughs) great. And Lance is here all of a sudden. (laughs) Is, uh, this is actually happening, Aoife, you're asking this? Um, I mean, I, I guess I don't understand what the, the problem with asking that would be. No, I mean, she didn't just, know we were just here. That we, she, yeah, she didn't know we were here. So oh, a new person okay, okay, just okay. shows up out of nowhere and is like, hey, do you know this guy? <laughs> yeah, 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 my bad. I, 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 misread, I misread that situation. Um, okay. Which, see. to be clear, that is absolutely a thing you can do. I just want to confirm that that's what you're doing. Yeah. I think it's cool. Because like, I, 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 did, I did ask... Kayo earlier if they w- would be able to step in and uh, use yeah. muscle if needed. Yeah, I think Kayo didn't even blink and just said, "Of course." So, yeah, so I, I think we need to progress this plot a little bit. Yeah, I think I think we 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 step out. Maybe maybe kind of like after she says, "Like, oh, are are you going to return to them, or did you run away?" Um, and I think we step out from around the corner. Okay. 
two things happen. Uh-huh. One, the difficulty of the <laughs> Augur Carla clock goes up from six to eight. Yep. Okay. The other thing that happens is she grabs for Rahel, you know, in as in like a grappling maneuver in order to like try and seize you in a bear hug. Can we resist either of these things? Um, I think this is I think this is a maneuver from Rahel. Oh, deep. Yeah, or someone else could someone else. Yeah, could can, try and can, can, Ka- can Kayo protect? I feel like Kayo like. Yeah. Like we take a step out and then like as like Kayo's probably behind Aoife. So like Aoife takes a step out. Uh, uh, Carla starts to go for Rahel and then Kayo's just like just coming out from behind Aoife and, Aoife and just has to dart or do something to stop yeah, that. I'm, I, I'm happy for this to be a, a, a Kayo resist. I think that's fair. Prowess? Sure. Way. Kayo is fast. So He's open. Mm, uh, even in all that. Armor. I think I think. Hmm. Here's the Ooh. thing. I think it's actually insight ah. because it's it's realizing that this is the moment. I see. OK, it's, there's no question that Kayo is physically capable of doing this. It's knowing that this is the moment to go. Sure. Great. OK, I have two dice in that. Uh, Do you get bonus dice at all? No, I get. Oh, you just get minus one. Stress. Yeah, minus, I'll take minus one stress. I get bonus dice to resolve resists, which is not this. 2d6, inside, resist. Wow. Take no stress. Hey. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, I think, like, Carla reaches for Rahel, and Kayo just, like, sees that darts darts forward and is just, like, in between the two. Right? Because, like, if, if, if Carla's, like, reaching out for Rahel, Kayo is just, like, there, like, hand just right in Carla's chest, like, don't go anywhere. Like, yeah. keeping keeping her at an arm's distance from from. Kayo and Rahel. Yeah, she does the she does the same to you. <laughs> when I look at her mm-hmm. with my f- fucked up eye, which uh, uh, I think as I focus, the like little roots kind of slowly creep out from the from the socket. Um, no. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for bad it's eye fine. stuff. No, um, it's fine. Would I be able to like notice any sort of magical effect? on people from never magic yeah i think you absolutely could does she seem corrupted in any way by she does not by whispers stuff okay Mm. i don't think so no okay i think you've seen that's kind of concerning in its own way (laughs) yeah i think you've seen that kind of enchantment before and it is not present here okay well i still look up look at her with my fucked up eye and be like, hey, we, we need to talk. You've all made a grave mistake coming here. We've made a mistake. What do you think you're doing? Hey, Rachel, give her time to explain what that means. And then just looks back at Carla like, you want to wanna tell us what that means? Please elaborate. Haven't you seen the forces of the Never crawling all over this fortress? Yes, and we are an army that is here to fight the forces of the never from what i understand your army is 30 people hasn't stopped us yet what are they doing here digging for and like gives you a look what kind of look certainly you've read something about the future they seek kind of gesturing at her profession i've read many things i see very little reason why i must explain myself to the likes of you to bandits and outlaws. Hey. She thinks we're the other Legion. I think she might just think that of the Legion general, <laughs> which, fair. I mean, she's not wrong. Yeah. We're super cubs for sure, but the, that last line, <laughs> I think that might be the situation here. I don't know what you're thinking, but the, the never are anathema to people, us. You think you're just going to be fine unscathed here? I know what lies in store for me. They threw my whole home into the sky. That's not hyperbolic. I believe you. But you want to be one of them? What I want is immaterial. What will be, that is what concerns me. Uh, These people and their fucking determinism. This is a conversation Rahel and Carla have had a thousand times. Oh boy. 
you think just because things are meant to be the way they're meant to be, that is your duty, your obligation to be the tool that makes that future come true, regardless of its morality. Like, we, out of character. Uh-huh. Try, trying to convince her yeah. is probably less useful bit. than just gagging her and running away. Yeah, it's not, it, it's not impossible. Yeah. <laughs> But like I, I don't, like I don't know if longer though. I think Eva's more into the aggressive route. I don't think she is somebody who's good at social skills and is has any f- fucking patience for her shit right now. <laughs> yeah, fair. Again, um, home in the sky. Um, so do do we do we want to tie up, take elsewhere, or are we still are we attempting to work together for a second? It sounds like we've been doing like a group consort or something or a group sway. <laughs> I have yeah, neither of those. <laughs> group, yeah, group something. Yeah, it's it's like, fine, then keep your secrets. Know what you will about yourself. What can you tell us about the never and stuff here, yeah. right? I almost think this is like... They're a discipline. What, what does discipline do? She's not in the army, so D- I don't discipline know that I is, discipline. Yeah, I don't think discipline yeah. will work here. Uh-huh. Um, I I none think, of the rest. I think this is a sway. Woo! Um, and I think none of us have sway. And I think it oh. starts at risky, risky limited. Ooh, none of us have this. Incredible. Mm. Um, risky <sighs> limited with with sway. Um, if it's consort, would it be risky no effect to start? Yeah, I think that's true. Okay. Does anybody have enough die in consort to make that worthwhile? I have none in that either. I have two I've, consort. Then that'll oh, work. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So everyone helping Rahel. Can do that. Yeah, actually, I think that suits the scene really well, right? Yeah. Yep. We're all here as backup. Yeah. Rahel uses consort when Sway would be better. That's a friend move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I do think I'm kind of backing up because I'm like really close to losing my cool. And yeah, I'm not good at this so, kind of stuff. <laughs> is this a group maneuver, like group thing still? I, I don't, I don't, think, don't, I don't think so. Are y'all just he- I think we're just helping. It's... Okay, so... So we just, I need one person to actually spend the stress. I will. Yeah, that makes sense. Io's right up there. Mm-hmm. I'm making the situation worse, so I back up. <laughs> <laughs> so 2d6 risky limited right now. Yes. With Kyo's help, I can make it risky standard. You need three ticks to get her to like, to, to win the encounter. Oh boy. What's the devil's bargain? <laughs> Or you could change position for effect. You could change. No, I'm That's planning right, on it, but I'd like to have more dice too. Um, <laughs> I guess you're probably still not interested in that one that I offered you before. No. Okay. Let me see if I can think of something different then. Um, one of the rookies um, with, with all of the focus up here, one of the rookies is going to get lost to one of the feral. We can't risk morale. Yeah, no. I can't take that one either. I'm sorry. Yikes. Um, I'll push myself. Okay. So, pushing myself for an extra die. Help from Kayo for additional effect. Risky standard. And then I'm going to make it desperate great. <gasps> nice. Oh, oh. Dear. It's five. That's a five. It's a five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Convince her, but lots of mixed successes on this one. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, I think once again you see her shoulders kind of slump. She doesn't completely let down her physical guard. She's takes another step back, so that she's not within grappling range. Um, but her expression kind of falls a bit, and she shakes her head and says. I'm I know that this isn't what I should be doing. I know that I know what the never are capable of. And why are you doing it? If you know that you shouldn't be doing it, then why are you doing it? Come on, let's get out of here. Because I lost everyone that I cared about except one person. And if I'm going to die, then I want to spend the rest of my time with her. It's not her. Oh, God, if Rahel says that, though. And she stiffens and says, you don't know that. 
And then there's a second where we see Walu uh, doing oh. simultaneous mission with the Star Vipers. Oh. It's not her anymore. Oh. That's someone else. Damn. Just wearing her body. She looks at the specialists and is like, I'm not going to stop you. Whisper's forces will find what they're looking for. And when they do, your world is doomed. Then why can't we find it first? Because they have a two-week head start on you. Well, they loosened the jar already. Jeez. She crosses her arms. It, is this where we tie her up? <laughs> Not at this point. Because <laughs> we can't just, like, let her go. This is out of character. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I know. We, yeah. We, we can't just let her go. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if, if you have practical mission questions, this is the time to, to ask them. What are they looking for? She tells you they are looking for two things. They are looking for the grave of a chosen and they are looking for armaments from the old empire. Armaments. Was there something from the old empire that like technologically that we've lost? I think so. Yes, I think so. Maybe not in terms of like firearms and stuff like that, but armor and edged weapons and such. I think we're probably made with materials and made using techniques. That have been lost. Arcadian steel. Yeah. Arcadian yeah. steel. That sounds Arcadian good. Steel. That sounds cool. And it, you said that, but uh, an Arcadian steel siege weapon should would be nice. It would. Our Vander voice would bring me some Arcadian steel. I'll see what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Suleiman is also like, bring me some Arcadian steel. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> and then every other character that we've seen on screen, whether they're alive or dead, says, bring me some Arcadian steel. <laughs> bring me some Arcadian steel. Now, who was it who sounded like Mickey Mouse? <laughs> bring me the lamp. <laughs> yeah. it, it was that never that was interrogating the um, commander at the All very first right. mission. Mm. Yeah. Sounded just like Mickey Mouse. Oh, <laughs> 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 um, are they looking for a specific person, a specific armament? I, that I don't know. I, there's not specific ar- armaments uh, unless it's something that's been buried with a chosen that had passed. But no, somewhere here in the castle, there are armories, things that would have been commonplace in the days of the old empire, but that have been lost to collapse, lost to the passage of time. They're digging looking for caches of the stuff. And how exactly are you helping? She draws herself up. I am familiar with things past and future. And yet they haven't found it yet. I'm not familiar with this precise castle. It was not my area of expertise. Sometimes you bring your books and scrolls and you do the best you can. Oh, I'm sure I wouldn't know about that. Is now when we tie her up and <laughs> go away. Like I think now is when we tie her up. I don't tie know. Up. Like now Bane's a Books Nabain's and Scrolls guy. Undertaker. True. Was Books and so Scrolls? So he might know the burial proxies. Yeah, he's got books and scrolls too, but like he might know the burial practices better than Carla does. Sure, my, I'm I'm thinking more like we got her this far. Maybe maybe we can just ask Brendan to show us what kind of clock it would look like for her to join us. Because bringing an Isa spoke person back, like okay, she doesn't know about this castle, whatever. She knows about other stuff that turns into intel. This mission's about intel. Just true. Yeah, she's been intimately with <laughs> intimately a uh, a uh, with this coalition of never for quite a while yeah now. that's so. true um I, you know cards on the table i'll tell you exactly what it would take to get her willingly to leave this place and that is you would have to kidnap the idol <gasps> oh <laughs> boy his girlfriend i think she puts it in in exactly those terms she crosses her arms and says if you have no other interrogation for me i have promised not to give you away but I'm not going anywhere. Not so long as Lydia is here. 
Oh my god. Oh, Wait, no. Yeah, we, like, he gave us that name. <sighs> yeah, before. that is familiar. Well, I was wondering about that. Yeah. I'm yeah, pretty, I think I think he gave us that, that name on that first mission. Or that okay. ah! You must have. We can't we, we cannot bring a never back to camp, especially after what just happened. No, it seems like a real bad idea. Yeah, but then think uh, about think about the else. downtime scene. That's yeah, true. We could take her somewhere with Lance. We don't have to bring her back alive either. No, uh, she wouldn't come back with that. Would Nabane even let us do that? That's that's probably a different. That's that's a concern for later. <laughs> Matthew is uh, into this. Matthew can find a way for Nabane to get into this. <laughs> well, like as long as she's captured he could kill her whatever he wants yeah um, we can also ugh. kind of like white lie about this like we've already captured her no no but we, none of us have sway none <laughs> of us have sway yeah, <laughs> oh my god all right uh, just, just have a character die invent a rookie bring the rookie back <laughs> <laughs> just let the rookie do all the talking oh bonjour mademoiselle i'm very <laughs> convincing my french if you bring me <gasps> some Arcadian steel. Jesus Christ. Um, oh, I don't have to take care. She's what? She's tier three now? Tier four? Yeah. She is tier, tier three. three. Yeah. Right, we, we can do, t- we can do a tier three. By That's herself. Right. She's tier three on her own. Yeah, well, we'll get, we'll get her on her own. And I can be like tier four on my own, so. <laughs> but, yeah, for her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get Carla oh, yeah. to, to go meet her on her own. We'll be like, hey, when's your next date? And uh, easy peasy. So uh, the pitch is like Rahel uh, saying like, this is my friend. We need to save her. The only way we can do that it, like legitimately is if we uh, grab this Lydia person. <laughs> oh, OK. Uh, just like, yeah, try to convince Aoife to do it. Yeah. Well, okay, so the the reason why Aoife would be, like, very, very, very hesitant uh, in regards to that plan was everything based off of, like, the last downtime of, like, literally having, like, never in our, like, ranks. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that being, like, the whole reason we fucking packed up and left. So, like, willingly bringing a never onto the camp would be... But we, the pitch would be we don't bring her back to the camp. We just bring her back near the oh. camp under armed guard. Mm-hmm. And so like not 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 having them join the the but get just just getting them out of this current castle place. Yeah, getting them both out of there and then maybe eventually bringing them back. But also, OK, this <laughs> is new idea. New new worry is uh, if we just take Carla and not Lydia, Lydia might attack the camp directly to get Carla back. So like we got to get both cuz I don't think Whisper's going to prioritize Carla but Lydia might. Yeah, I, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Do you do you have a sense of of what would? I mean, first off, is Devin just not interested in this? It's it's not that I'm not interested in it. It just doesn't make fictional sense. Sure. To me. So so what would it take what would it take for it to make fictional sense for you? Like a, a, a reason why doing this wouldn't literally make everybody at camp be like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't think there's a way in which we kidnapped a never and they're not here, but they're close. I think there's 100% a way that we say, hey, we kidnapped an enemy commander and now you can interrogate them. Yeah, that's hmm. fair. Yeah. Like this is a war. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, the 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 problem with that though is still the 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 Carla being angry with us and possibly maybe using violence to get this prisoner out. No, Car- Carla just wants us to take to. She will only come with us if we take Lydia, right? She will only come with us willingly, right? But I don't think she's going to be like, okay, cool. Wait, but now she's a prisoner. I, Carla doesn't oh, yeah. seem to be under any misconceptions that Lydia is never. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, but it's this yeah. is a this is a my girlfriend turned into a zombie, but I still love her situation. 
But then she's going to be mad that we took her girlfriend and started interrogating her, right? I think so long as she gets to be, it sounds like so long as she gets to be with Lydia until the world ends, she doesn't super care what they're doing. Yeah, big nihilism. Yeah, and if we get her to the camp, if we get her to the camp and then break promises, like... That's that's grimdark, baby. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that Devin's read on the situation is a correct one, but I, I, that is a solution. That is a, a bridge you can burn when you get to it. <laughs> yeah, and like I, I doubt that Lydia is going to come willingly. Oh, definitely. No, not. absolutely not. The other, the other option here, uh, just to put everything on the table, uh, was that Brendan had said that if we just kidnapped Carla. <laughs> This that would still count as a mission success. We would just get plus two intel instead of plus three. Mm-hmm. If I can have one more thing before we break, um, I think Nabane gets like, um, hey Devin, how how tall is Aoife? Is basically, do you think Aoife is shorter or taller than Nabane? I think Nabane's like average height. She's like five three tops. Oh wow! Okay. Um, that was not the answer I expected. <laughs> She's like a little spider monkey. Got it. Okay. Um, in that case, I think that he like, he does. Her gun is taller than her. Oh my God, that's cute. Um, I think Nabane like leans down. So now he's just like more directly speaking just to Aoife. Mm-hmm. And he says, um, Aoife, I, I don't, I don't mean to question you and, and, I will, of course, do as you command here. You are the captain. There's another option. Kayo has a wrecking kit. We could try to bring the ruins down. Deal a blow to whisper. I love that. (sighs) And I, I had thought of something that I think is worth tipping my hand with. Aoife, you had looked before to try and see if there was never enchantment. Yeah, threads of like magic on Yeah. And you didn't find any of that, but there's clearly some degree of ambiance, right? There's the feral and the idols down the hall. There's more and more of them skittering, hissing across this fortress. But even down here, there's something... Something that picks at your attention, like, like the sun peeking from behind a cloud. And I think as the specialists in your ranks are asking these questions of Carla, trying to figure out what to do next, this sense, this feeling captures your attention in a way that draws your gaze up past the stoneworks, covered in roots, in dead and dying leaves, in moss, into the main body of the fortress. Or the broken tower? No, not quite there, but in the, in the rooms above the main hall, even as old as this place is, there are rooms filled with art, with things of the old empire, with things of beauty. And someone is up there, gazing upon them. Aoife, when was the last time you were in love? Hmm. I think she has had like a minor crush on Kayo this whole time, but I don't think it's like... Uh Uh-huh. I I, I don't think she can afford having more than that at the moment in terms of like having seeing seeing people die. And so I think she kind of like wills that away a little bit. Um, For sure. I think she probably had like a like a, a teen sweetheart, maybe, but I don't think anything since then. There is a sense of great unsettling familiarity of her dark skin, her broad shoulders, her beautiful locks tied up. Uh. <laughs> Whisper is here. A 
Oathsworn is an actual play podcast created by Devin Nelson, Gavin Frazier, Chris Allison, Matthew Godstyle, and me, Brendan McLeod. All music for the show is created by Devin Nelson. Find it and more at devindecibel.bandcamp.com. Find a link to their music in any of the games that we played in the podcast description. Follow us at Oathsworn Pod on Twitter or Oathsworn on Coast. Until next time. <laughs>